Good evening, I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benneman. Family members of those killed in the theater shootings have something they want to tell us. Today we got this news release announcing a news conference for tomorrow morning. It says in part, events have occurred which the families who lost loved ones need to address for the benefit of all victims. CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger has been following this story since the gunfire broke out. Rick, what did you find out about the matters these families want to talk about? Well, Jim, they've all been asked not to speak ahead of time, but we've learned there is great concern over how the donations raised on behalf of the victims are being distributed. After the shootings, people opened up their hearts and their checkbooks for those who lost so much. The largest fund was established by a foundation called Community First in Arvada. It has raised $5 million so far, but only 10% has been distributed. Marla Williams is the president and executive director of the fundraising organization. So we're really looking at, before this money is spent, to, to make sure we're spending it wisely, make sure that we are looking at how it fits in with other resources that are available in the community. So trying to align need with resource in the most effective way. The money is given to the foundation and also through a website called givingfirst.org. Then what's called the 720 Relief Committee, comprised of numerous organizations, decides where that money goes. It is then passed to the Colorado Organization for Victim Assistance, or COVA. But it has only received $350,000 to give out to 70 people so far. Some family members of the victims of this tragedy have told CBS4 they are in need and have only received a minimal amount of assistance. I'm sure if, if you're in need, it feels like a really long time. Um, but I do think it's important that you know, donors entrust these dollars um, to us and want us to use them uh, with thought and with planning and with care. And now the families of those who died as a result of this tragedy are coming together, they say, to speak with a single voice. Keep in mind the Aurora Victim Relief Fund is just one of several that's available to the victims, but it is the largest and the families of those who died are concerned about the distribution of the money that has been raised to help them. Karen? All right, Rick, thank you.